Boko Haram's shadowy leader, Abu Bakr Shakao, has appeared in a new video shrugging off an apparent split in the hardline jihadist group. Now, last week, Shakao said in an audio message that he was still the head of Boko Haram, despite his purported replacement by former spokesman Sheikh Abu Musab al Barnawi. Shakao ridiculed suggestions that he was dead and looked more composed and energetic than in previous appearances. Let's bring you more on this now. We're joined live by CCTV's Deji Badwas, live for us in Lagos, Nigeria. Deji, has this uh, latest video been verified and can it be confirmed that it is indeed Abu Bakr Shakao? Well, Lindy, there's been no uh, confirmation yet uh, from the military. Neither has there been one from the government. We just have to wait and see what happens. But there's no question at all that... Um, this is clearly Abubakar Shekau trying to uh, take a claim now to the leadership of Boko Haram. Um, I mean, this video coming out just days after he released an audio message uh, saying that he still remains uh, the leader of Boko Haram. And in this latest video, of course, he says he's still the leader of Boko Haram, directly opposing um, Abu Musa al-Banawi, who was um, actually appointed by IS uh, some days ago. And um, it, it, what security experts here are saying is that it's a clear confirmation that there's a split in the group and that Abubakar Shekau is just trying to put up a brave face to show that he is still very much uh, in charge. And Digi, just turning our attention to another issue coming out of Nigeria, um, what information do we have on the gunman who allegedly addressed as priests and then went on to kill soldiers in the Niger Delta? Well, that incident actually happened in a, in a town called Nimbe. It's a coastal town in uh, the oil-rich Bielsa state. That's in the Niger Delta region, of course, as you have said. And uh, these individuals, uh, the militants who attacked uh, this uh, military officers, they call them the JTF, that we were told that the military, I mean, the, the, the militants now disguised as mourners who were, who were coming from a burial ceremony that they were all putting on white because that's usually the tradition in that region. So the disguised as mourners approached um, this uh, checkpoint, I mean, a military checkpoint now, and then they opened fire on the military, uh, the, the military personnel. They're killing three of them. And uh, they, they, they made away with uh, their arms and ammunition, uh, as well as uh, the gunboat. Of course, um, the, the army has confirmed the attack. And uh, we also know that the state government, that's the state governor of that state now, has also set up um, a security outfit to patrol the waters in, in collaboration with the military. So, um, well, but the military has vowed that it is going to uh, make sure that uh, those who carry out the attacks I mean, the attack now are brought to justice, Lindy. Thank you. Deji Badmus, live for us there in Lagos with an update on the Niger Delta crisis as well as uh, the leadership question of Boko Haram.